If you want to learn how to add a watermark to Excel like this, then keep on watching. Hi, my name is Tony and this is my channel Ready Steady Excel. If you want to learn how to master these applications here, then by clicking subscribe and hitting the bell will put you on the right track. Excel doesn't have a watermark feature in the same way that Word does, but there are a couple of workarounds available. What a lot of people do, they will add a text box or Word art and then make it transparent. And this works well, but when you're working with a large spreadsheet, you would then need to copy and paste this text and then position it. In this video today, I'm going to show you a quicker way, a better way, and here's how. To add our watermark, we go to Insert, and then over here we go to Text, and we want Header and Footer. And this will change the view to Page Layout. So as you can see, the cursor is blinking in the header area, and that's fine. We now just click Picture. And on this screen here, we can do a Bing image search, which is Microsoft's answer to Google. Now, if you want to use your own text, so maybe you've got your own text in mind, then you can create this in PowerPoint or in Paint, and then save it as an image, and then you can insert it from a file or from OneDrive. But I would recommend doing a search first. So if I click into here, and I'm going to type in my word for the watermark, it's going to be confidential. Press enter. So it brings up a list of images. Don't worry about the color at this stage because you can change it. Uh, so I'm going to go for this one here, this confidential. Click insert. Looks like nothing's happened, but if I click over here, it brings it in. Now, if you want to change the color of this watermark, or if you want to change the size or the position, then click here in the middle and then format picture becomes available. So on this tab here, you can change the size. I'm going to go to picture. On here, you can choose the positioning, and then you've got the image control. So I'm going to change this to grayscale. I click OK, and it makes it grayscale. Now, if I want it to be a bit more faded, then I can do that too. So I just go back to format picture, go to the picture tab, and then change this to wash out. And when I click OK, it becomes faded. And this watermark will now be printed on every page. And just to show you that, if I go to File and then Print, you can see it's there on the first page. And if I click onto the second page, it's on there too. Let's go back. Now remember, if you did want to change the position of your watermark, then you just simply click here and then go to Header and Footer. And you've got the Format Picture icon there. And that's when you can go in and then change the size or the position. Now, if you want to delete your watermark, really straightforward, you just click into the center here, delete these details, then click into this area here, and then it disappears. If you want to learn more about Excel, then watch this video here, or watch the video that YouTube is suggesting, and I will see you in the next video.